Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about uh, chapter 9 work energy and power. Work energy and power. Every day in our life we do so many different types of works starting from getting up from the bed, brushing, bathing, listening, writing, speaking, doing exercise. We do so many types of works. Suppose your examinations are coming, then every day and night you do a lot of work by preparing for the final exam. And we say that you are working hard. Yes, all these are correct. But coming to physics, do you think that all these things what we discussed now all works? Maybe no. Then what is work in physics? Earlier classes we discussed that any physical quantity which is measurable can be taken into physics. Anything which is measurable can be taken into physics. So, if you want to say this is work, it should be measured. Then what is work in physics? We are going to discuss now. Work. <coughs> so work means if you want to do any work, you should apply some force. Like in la previous chapter, loss of motion, we discussed that if you want to change the state of a body, you have to apply force. So force is very important entity in work also. So work is defined as product of force and displacement in same direction. So force is represented by the symbol F. Displacement is represented by symbol S. Work is represented by symbol W. So therefore W equals to F into S. This into in physics we call it as product. So force into displacement. And see this condition very important. Same direction. So W equals to F into S. Here force is a vector quantity. Displacement is also a vector quantity. But work is scalar quantity. Work doesn't have direction. It is, it is having only magnitude. Now if you take the unit of work in an SI system. Let me tell you the SI system then I will tell you the CGS system. In the SI system, force unit is Newton, displacement unit is meter, and this Newton meter can also be called as joule. So, SI system work unit is joule, and one joule equals to one Newton meter. Suppose, then if I say that I have done 200 joules of work, it is also equal to I have done 200 Newton meters of work. Both are same. Now, CGS unit of work. Force CGS unit is dyne. Displacement CGS unit is centimeter. This dyne centimeter can also be called as ergs. E-R-G. Ergs. So, one erg equal to one dyne into centimeter. So if I say that I have done a work of 300 ergs, it is also equal to I have done a work of 300 dime centimeter. Okay, so we understand that SI unit of work is joule, CGS unit of work is erg. Then there is a relation between joule and erg, like there is a relation between dimes and newton for force. So 1 joule equals to 10 to the power of 7x. Remember this 
conversion. For example, So, 1 joule equals to 10 to the power of 7 x. For example, a machine has performed 200 joules of work is equals to a machine has performed 200 into 10 to the power of 7 x of work. So here these two are equal. Then what are different examples, other examples you can take, we say that this is work in physics. See these examples. There is a toy car pulled by a thread using a thread. One person is pulling the toy car using a thread. Then, as it is using the thread, it is, this is the thread in this direction. So, this is the force applied towards left side. And the car is also moving in the same direction. So, displacement is also, displacement is also in the left side. So, this is, we can say, work is done by the person on the car. Because force is both in the same direction. This one example. We'll take a second example. Suppose a person standing on the ground. There is a suitcase on the ground. Then he lifted the suitcase and put it on the head. Then the displacement is in the upward direction and he applied the force is also in the upward direction. So we can say that as force and displacement both the same direction, we say this person performed work by lifting the suitcase and keeping on his head. Right. Now take third example. The person again lifting a cement bag. It's a cement bag. He lifted and keep it on his head. And here the displacement is in upward direction again. And you see when he want to lift the cement bag in upward direction, cement bag has weight acting downwards. This weight is also called force of gravity. by the earth. Now I can say that there is a work done by the person against the force of gravity to lift the cement bag in the upward direction. This is also a work. So like that whenever force and displacement in the same direction we can say work is done. Right. You understand what is work in physics. Now we have to see how many types of works are there. 